in itself is not uh, wrong. It is a morally neutral game. It's done for entertainment. Some old people do it, you know, to protect them from Alzheimer's, to keep their minds busy. Uh, what is wrong is to play mahjong uh, as in a, in a gambling situation. No? But without that, I think, uh, technically speaking, there's nothing wrong with playing much. Well, the sisters are a little bit offended that they have not been consulted about the movie, in the making of this movie. The sisters are a little bit hurt that uh, there is this uh, unnecessary scene of them singing, playing Majong with President Zakino, the motive of which is not clear to the sisters why it was depicted that way. Because in reality, what has circulated to this day is the story, and I can tell it to you. Uh, Chris Aquino was a very young girl when he came to the monastery with her mom at that time. And when she arrived at her room, she noticed that the sisters did not have any mirrors. So she could not fix herself on the mirror, and she was asking for a mirror. That, I know, is historically accurate, but anything about the Majong, I really don't know. And I suppose it did not happen because the sisters tell us that no such thing is with the sisters to this day. Do not play Majong in the monastery. Yes, uh, it is clear that again, uh, as I've said, when we do a, histor a historical fictionalization of the events of hi real history, not all the details are accurate. It's expected. No? So, in fact, the habits of the sisters do not reflect their habit. They never wore a habit to that one is that one that would like the ones we see in the movie. They have these long robes that is in brown, and so that in itself is a small, um, small uh, inaccuracy in the depiction of the sisters in the movie. If ever the movie wanted at all to refer to them, your personal observation, like uh, the fiction in a movie, this well, you know, the entertainment world is free to express itself because it's an art form, no? and there is uh, freedom of expression. Uh, and so we really cannot stop anybody from doing something. No? So freedom of expression leads to several forms, pornography even, and all this and all that. So it has been proliferating no? uh, all over media, all over in various platforms. So these are so-called self-expressions of people, oftentimes done for a commercial purpose. So um, really, uh, this, but this thing is not new to us. It's, it's something that is quite commonly occurring um, and has affected many similar historical incidents in the past. Uh, like you have the historical rendering of, for instance, of how Henry VIII no? uh, uh, divorced their wives based on a famous novel written by Philippa Gregory and has been made in several movies. Even the life of the royal family has been depicted recently in a series for Netflix uh, entitled, I think, The, the Royals, I thought I forgot. Uh, there are several events uh, that, because you know, one form of entertainment is to take inspiration from actual events, but know that it is not intended to educate, it is intended to entertain. A, 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 a form, if it was intended really to entertain, uh, or not to inform rather, they would have come up with a series of documentaries. But what was arrived at was this movie, which is a popular form of entertainment. So clearly, even the producers do not intend this to be a historical account of the events in the most accurate manner. But maybe inspired by the events, but not the event as per se, as it happened in history. Um, once, uh, sige, Monsignor, um, Para sa mga dili taga Cebu, daghan kayo mga strong reaction ng mga Cebuano um, because of the portrayal of the nuns. Can you explain, um, unsang kwan, um, nga nung protective kayo mga Cebuano sa Carmelite sisters? Well, because Cebu, the Cebuanos know that the sisters for a long time, the sisters have been with us since the 1950s and the sisters are the, 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 the chapter of the sisters here is the default go-to place for people who are experiencing some form of crisis or trouble in their lives. Whether it's a health crisis, it's a relational crisis, it's a money crisis, they run to the chapel of the sisters to pray, but at the same time to ask for the sisters' prayer. Cebuanos know the practice of bringing trays of eggs for to the sisters in exchange for their prayer. So the sisters are well-loved and well-respected. 
and they are our, they are our go-to uh, people when we need the help of prayers from other people. So I suppose the people who have received help from sisters' prayers uh, we just wanted to show to everyone that the sisters deserve to be better treated uh, than the way they seem to have been portrayed in this movie, if ever it was intended to portray them at all in the first place. And after the Archives of Cebu will have a statement? No, the Archives of Cebu will not issue a statement because it does not affect anything of the Archives of Cebu directly and we don't want also to provoke anyone by just coming up with an unwarranted statement because right now we feel that we don't need to make such a statement. So again, to the general public, my advice is be aware that you are watching a movie. And like all movies, you have the right to choose to watch it or not to watch it. And like all movies, their principal purpose is entertainment, not information. Maybe a little of the infotainment, but realize that it's more entertainment than information giving. So be aware that everything that you see there will, in a way, be a work of fiction or not. Well, it's very early for us to say if we're disappointed uh, because we, we have yet to see the movie. It has yet to be released. We're just looking at the pictures from the movie and we are coming up with our already our generalizations about the movie. And I think it would also be unfair for us to judge the movie uh, as a whole based on this uh, photos that we're showing. So maybe we wait for a certain period for some people to watch it. And then maybe we can review how people reacted to the movie. But now it's really too early for us to say that. Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Jim, like what by Moragos to or request um, Carmelite sisters in Moragos to like clarification or disclosure? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, the sisters just want to remind everybody that the education in the Muslim monastery is to pray. Uh, they wanted to remind everybody that at the time of the event referred to in the movie, they were praying and fasting with Cory Aquino. And thirdly, uh, the sisters were not involved in the making of the movie at all. They were not consulted, they were not interviewed, and so the movie was made without their participation, and so they just want us to be aware of these three things, especially. Please read the letter uh, in detail, because although there is a, mis, uh, there is a the sisters to, uh, misprinted the title of the movie, Instead of wanting to say made in Malacanang, it is written here made in heaven. So maybe the sisters are always thinking of heaven for that matter. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, the sisters reacted because several of their friends called them already, including people from the media. So that was the general consensus that this scene has something to do with Gori at the Carmelite Monastery back in 1986. So so that's why the sisters just have to issue a statement because they have been asked actually even by media to issue such a statement. Okay. One, one, uh, last lang. It was posted by Senator Amy Mike Marcos with that trailer. Is it not a tra uh, retaliation during the time 1986? Rosary versus guns that time? Well, we really cannot say that for now because as I've said, it's too early for us to make our judgment because it would not be fair to the producers of the movie and to the people involved in the production, uh, in, the, in the making of the movie, the, including the celebrities. I know that Rufa is playing the role of similarly of the famous personality of Imelda Marcos. But uh, it's too early for us to say that because we still have to see the movie in its entirety. You know, yeah. We will be accused of, you know, uh, history generalization, prejudicial statements. Uh, if we say a lot of things now, when I personally have not even seen, not even the trailer. I just heard about it from TikTok. I know that this is part of a three-part trilogy. It's supposed to be this part, then a second movie will come out, something to do with the assassination of Aquino. I think it's called Murder or Massacre. And there's a third part about the family of the current president in Honolulu. So based on TikTok uh, clips. No? So I really don't know if it's really intended to be a trilogy, but you look at TikTok, uh, there is that already going around on social media, especially TikTok. Thank you, Mons. Thank you. Thank you.